and now you can call me Sal. And we are your tour guides for today. Before we start the tour, we hope you will enjoy and at the same time learn from the We see you soon. Before entering the Museo Subbu, you need to pay the corresponding admission fees here. So for foreign adults or balik bayan, you need to pay 75 pesos. For foreign students, senior citizens, and persons with disabilities, it's 50 pesos. For local adults, it's 30 pesos. And for local students, senior citizens, and persons with disabilities, it's 10 pesos. And children four years and below are free. And to add on, they are open from Monday to Saturday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Museo Subbo is one school, Carcel Visible, for the provincial jail of Cebu. It is designed by Domingo D. Escondillas in year 1869. Name twice. First, it was called the Cebu Provincial Jail. With the departure of the city jail, the Cebu Provincial Jail changed its names to the Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center or CPDRC. So, you can see there some of the remains of the clean roof tiles of Garcel de Cebu. Cebu was actively trading with Chinese, Shamis, and Arab traders. In this gallery, we will be seeing artifacts and various wares which excavated during the pre-colonial era. These are stoneware jarlets which were recovered from burials in Cebu. These jarlets may have been used to contain perfumes, aromatic oils, medicinal liquids, or even poison. Carrot gold female figurine found in 1917 from a river bank of the of the Imparwawa River near Agusan North, Eastern Mindanao. It is said to belong to the Mahapahit. Above are actually bracelets made from horns or teeth of giant triton or chocolate shells. Grave goods from burials in Barangay Batige and nearby barangays in Batay. The Song Dynasty brown ware switch was excavated in Argo. This date to the 12th century. At the center, you could see Milet or locally called Gabu which was reportedly the stuff of crop tilled by the Cebuanos in pre-colonial times. These are metal earthenware fragments which was recovered from a cave in Barili, southwestern Cebu.
Spanish Colonial Gallery. Come and let's take a look inside. Exactly 44 years after the death of Magellan in the Battle of Mactan on April 27, 1565, the Spanish expedition led by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi dropped anchor off the port of Cebu. This started the formal colonization of Cebu. These are documents of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi's confirmation as the governor and captain general of Cebu. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi's first letter, which he sent to King Philip II of Spain, which dated May 27, 1565. At the center, you could see dried leaves of tobacco, which was bought from Bolloon Public Market. This was used as cigarettes during the Spanish era, or even up to now. Sword. These two weapons were part of a heirloom from a family in Sambuan City. These are weapons commonly found among Afghan warriors during the late 18th and 19th century. Over here, you could see various wooden statues which used to be part of household altars during the Spanish era. This includes the image of Señor Santo Niño, which is the patron saint of Cebu City. This is an alcohol jar which was produced by Elliot's and Australian Drug Limited of Sydney. It may have been used in local hospitals during the late Spanish period. This is this one of the Philippine export product which was first discovered in Cebu. Here you could see a rectangular wooden mortar or locally known as the song which was used for pounding rice. Next to it is a rice meal which was used for milling glutinous rice or locally known as pilit for the use of rice cakes or bibingka. Above it is a wooden plow or locally known as daro. Wooden plows like this one were dragged by carabaos and used for preparing the land for planting by turning the soil over and over again. So over here is a spinning wheel and a lazandera which was used for cotton weaving. the Spanish Colonial Gallery. I will now turn you over to my colleague which is waiting for you upstairs for the next gallery. Thank you. Hey everyone, I will be your tour guide for the American Colonial Gallery. Let's take a look inside. On February 21, 1899, the U.S. gunboat Petrel docked near Fort San Pedro signaling the American occupation of Cebu. The Katipunan, founded by Andres Bonifacio, is a secret revolutionary society. The Katipunan reached the shore of Cebu on June 19, 1897. This is an exercise machine reportedly made by Katipunan General Domino Sukurvita of Borbon during the retirement year. of the Katipunan in Cebu. The Katipunan were amulets called an ting and ting or kalaki vest which were marked with pidgin Latin inscription and illustration copied from Catholic religious texts which serve as protection against bullets. Teachers in Tagbilaran 
Calape to Bigon and Loon and all in Bohol province. Ray Estrada and this one is the Japanese Army medical bandages this is an open cover protective individual is used to protect against sprayed blaster gases so you could see this picture this is first Filipino port captain of Cebu captain Joaquin Alex Memorabilia. Jubito Abulyana is the 
son of the Catupunero Gregorio Avellana. He devoted time on four enduring passions, sculpture, coal mining, writing, and raising a family with his wife, Lourdes. American colonial era piña and cotton skirts, these are clothes designed and then woven by Maria Sanchez, the wife of Gregorio Avellan. So that ends the Gregorio Avellana and Juvito Avellana Memorial Villa Gallery. So now I will turn over you to my colleagues for the next gallery. Thank you. We are now in the Vicente Rama Memorabilia Gallery. Come, let's take a look inside. Don Vicente Rama is a writer, a publisher, a legislator, a Senate of the Republic, and the father of the Cebu City Charter.
Commission of the Philippines. So here, we will see the glimpse of the Philippines in the past. Let's go to the next gallery. So here we can see all of the presidents of the Philippines. over to my colleagues for the next gallery. Thank you. Hi everyone, I will be your tour guide for the National Archives of the Philippines. Come, let's take a look inside. So you don't need to worry because you can visit here in 1871 Zelda Cafe. Here are the list of the menu. If you want to buy souvenirs for your visit here, Museo Sugu has a souvenir shop. So let's take a look inside. Trails will surely fit you. It is just located beside the souvenir shop, so let's come inside to explore what it is.
end of the tour. We hope you enjoyed and learned from us. And we hope that we could see you again in the future. So again, I'm Sheen. I'm Kate.